Hi, I'm Mark from the Microtarsal Project. Today we're going to be looking at this, the Arduino Blue Pill, a sub $2 development board. This board has an STMicro STM32F103 processor on it, which has 64 kilobytes of flash and 20 kilobytes of SRAM. Although most of the devices found on these boards actually have 128 kilobytes. Now on the Microtarsal website, you can also see the binary files that we're going to be looking at and using today. Now I've already programmed my blue pill with the Microtask bootloader. So when I connect it here, and I've just let it hang in the air so we can see what it's doing, we can see the first thing that it comes up as the blue pill board, which is an external hard drive to my PC. So if I pull up the file manager, we can now see the blue pill. It's got no files loaded, which means that there's no application loaded. So the first thing I can do is to choose an application to load. I choose this one here. So I do drag and drop onto the board. It takes just a second or so. Now the board will automatically reboot into the application. We can see that because it's now blinking at 2.5 hertz, this green LED. So I also pull up a terminal emulator connected to a virtual COM port, which is the application's virtual COM port. If I hit the Enter key, I get some menus. If I go into menu number four, which is the application menu, I can now command a boot. Now when I do this, the board will restart and it will go back automatically into the bootloader. Let's see what happens. Here we can see that the blue pill uh, appears again because it's um, detected as a hard drive. So we go back to our file manager and we have a look in this directory and we can see also that we have the original application that we loaded. It's got its date, it's got its time. I can also take this and copy it to my local drive or have a look in it. Here we have a binary editor opening up and I can delete it as well because I want to load my second application. This is the second application I want to load. I do again drag and drop. Now it's loaded. Open up my virtual COM port. Now this application also appears as an external hard drive because it's a composite USB, MSD and also USB CDC application. Now with this application I also have the virtual COM port. Here I have my menu as previously, but also I have an external disk drive which is called data disk 1, which has three files on it. Now the first file, I'm going to open it now, shows me a snapshot of the present internal SRAM. Now if we look down here we can see also a part of the memory which is filled with 5555 and that's used by the code to identify unused stack. If I open up the software.bin file, this is giving me a snapshot of the complete internal flash of the chip. And if I open up the final file, which is an HTML file, this will open up a web browser for me, which will then give me a little bit of extra information. So what I'd finally like to do is to show you what happens when we're running the application and then we reboot to the bootloader. But once in the bootloader, we decide that we want to get back to the application because we have no interest in actual deleting or uploading new software. Now in this case, all that I need to do is to select the drive and command eject and you'll see that it will then automatically start back up into the application so that I've got my menu again. Many thanks for watching the video and good luck with your own developments based on Microtasker and the Arduino Blue Pill.